What's sh- What's shaking? Well, alright then. What's shaking, guys and girls? If you're wondering why I'm dressed like I just came from a Charles Boyle family reunion, it's because it's hot as hell today. It's too hot for me to dress up for you guys today, I'm sorry. It is the 10th of November, we're about a third of the way through NaNoWriMo, although when you watch this, it's probably going to be closer to halfway. I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm... I'm not doing great. I am falling a bit behind, but most importantly, I want to point out that I am having more fun doing NaNoWriMo this year than I think I ever have before. That comes down to a few factors. Uh, first of all, I'm loving what it is I'm actually writing, which I'll get to in a minute. I'm way more comfortable with where I am writing. Uh, I did a recent video called Setting Up My Writing Office where I talked a bit more about that. But most importantly, I've never felt this involved with the writing community before. Hey, what are you having, buddy? You know what? Don't worry, I got it. Uh, how's the writing going? <coughs> Nearly every time I jump on the computer to get some writing done now, there's a live stream happening, or specifically, a writing sprint. If you're not familiar with writing sprints, that's completely fine. In fact, I wasn't too sure what they were until recently either. But let me tell you, they are fantastic. Essentially, what a writing sprint live stream is, is it's a live stream where the host or the creator will chat with you for a little bit, chat with everyone in the stream, and then everyone will stop. A timer will come up on the screen. It might be for like uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, 10 minutes. And until that timer is up, everyone will just write. I'll admit, uh, when I first heard about writing sprints, I wasn't too interested, to be honest. I was like, that sounds super distracting. Why wouldn't I just uh, dedicate like an hour or two just to pump out some writing without breaking it up and, you know, chatting with people in between. But I ended up giving it a chance and I can honestly say that it is, it's amazing. There's just something so uh, motivating and exciting about writing with other people. 90% of the writing that I've gotten done for NaNoWriMo has been because of writing sprints. You gonna drink this, buddy? Oh my god. I've actually hosted a couple of writing sprints myself already so far, and aside from spilling tea on myself to the point where it's becoming a running joke, it's been a ton of fun. I also got to co-host a writing sprint with two of my buddies on AuthorTube, Brooke Passmore and Kate Kavanagh, and that was super fun as well, even if everyone in the stream started calling me... they started calling me a boomer at one point. <laughs> I need to pull up the boomer comment again. I'm totally Oh kidding. no. I shouldn't have put the glasses on. It was a mistake. I was about to make a mean yeah. comment. Uh, when I, I read comments, I'll read them like this. <laughs> Hopefully you'll see more of us teaming up in the future. Simply put, guys, I'm having more fun as a writer now than I think I ever have. And as corny as it sounds, it's because I really am starting to feel like I'm a part of a larger community. The support and the participation from all of you guys who watch my videos and my streams has been nothing short of incredible. You guys humble me. You really do. Thank you. That's the positive stuff out of the way. I'm having a lot of fun, sure. Uh, maybe a bit too much fun, uh, because I'm falling a bit- I'm falling a bit behind. I'm about 5,000 words behind. <laughs> to be fair, I do have a full-time job. Obviously that takes most of my time. I also had a birthday party uh, this last weekend, so uh, not for myself, just for a mate, but, but I did have a few drinky poos and I woke up the next day feeling like I'd been bitch slapped by the Hulk, so writing was out of the question. That's the thing with NaNoWriMo, right? Like you can fall so far behind so damn quickly. I think a lot of people underestimate just how many words, 1600 words a day is for sellouts like me with a nine to five. You know what I mean? What do you think? NaNoWriMo? Who cares? We are but dust in the wind, born to die. Wonderful. Okay, so let's, let's have a look at my stats. As you can see, the line graph for my overall progress has bigger gaps than Dwight Schrute's fringe. Not as bad as it could be, but in my opinion, not really optimal either. And my average is about up to 1000 words a day. Despite all that, I still feel pretty confident that I can bring it back once I have a few days off. If I can be optimistic for a moment, 
if that's okay. <laughs> I look at this and the main thing I see is that I've written about 10,000 words in just a couple of weeks. I haven't been this productive in a super long time, so quite frankly, I'm stoked. You might know that uh, during NaNoWriMo I am writing a horror anthology of short stories. There is going to be around 10 short stories. That's the goal. Uh, so far I've finished about four. I'm nearly done with number five. So in the grand scheme of things, I am practically halfway there, which is kind of crazy to me. I just finished one of the stories that I'm most excited for people to read. It's about uh, two young boys playing hide and seek and then one of them finds themselves in a bit of a tight spot. I have an exciting idea to get some real catch up done this month, but I'll be honest, it's a bit scary to even propose. I'm thinking I might do an all day writing stream. I'm talking 10 to 12 hours of straight writing sprints. What would you guys think about that? Let me know. Cheers. I have done a video in the past where I tried to write for 24 hours straight. It didn't go great, I'll be honest. It was impossible for me. I think I made it about 12 hours before I ended up descending into uh, complete madness. I think I could do a 10 hour stream though. I think that could be fun. It could either go well or you could end up seeing me uh, speaking in tongues before the day is out. Hey, by the way guys, uh, just very quickly, I am growing a mustache during November for the Movember Foundation. You can find a link in the description below to my Movember page. If you can spare just a few dollars, that would be really great because we're trying to raise some money to help prevent suicide. If you are doing NaNoWriMo, best of luck to you, my friend. Uh, go ahead and wish me luck too. I need it. And hey, stick around if you like videos about writing. That should do it. Closing time. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch up.